2011 belonged to Serbia's Novak Djokovic, but a new year means a fresh beginning. And former world number one Rafael Nadal has made some changes, which he believes will give him a more powerful game. I changed my racket. I'm playing with a little bit of heavier racket to, to, try, to try to have a little bit more power on my on my forehand and my serve. But uh, you know, I am losing control on that. So I need time to to adapt to the new new weight. So anyway, I, I'm working hard. Uh, is a risk for the beginning of the season. I accept this risk, but hopefully, and we think that can be positive for, for the future. The man from Mallorca is as competitive as ever, and to give himself the very best chance of success this year, he's decided to take February off. I need to practice. I didn't have the chance to practice in, in this December. I get the injury in my shoulder, injury in my knee, so I need to practice physical uh, tennis too, so I need to work hard on court, and that's what they're going to do. But there are signs Switzerland's Roger Federer is getting back to his imperious best. So is returning to world number one a realistic New Year resolution? It's uh, obviously a dream for, for me to get back there, but right now it's not, it's not the, the goal. Uh, I hope I'll, you know, sort of create a, a season that I will have a chance eventually during the season, maybe at a tournament or during a stretch to, to get there. Um, but I haven't planned my schedule around that, my, my schedules around the, the tournaments I'm playing and trying to win those and have a, a healthy schedule that I know I can live up to and then we'll go from there. And world number one is something that's on, on the sidelines. The Swiss master ended 2011 on a high, the climax of an unbeaten 17-match winning streak, a victory at the season-ending Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. I am confident, but then again, it starts to scratch, right? So I have to, you know, uh, create that aura again around me. Uh, it is a change from the indoors to the outdoors. The goal is really trying to start well, um, play aggressive, you know, take what I did well at the end of the last year and then take what I practiced on during the off-season and you know, integrate that during the play now here in all of January and then hopefully go from there with, with confidence into the rest. So, let battle commence. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, it's all eyes on Auckland as we go behind the scenes in New Zealand. And factoring in fatherhood, Justin Gimmelstob accepts an invitation to Mr and Mrs Bob Bryan's baby shower. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.